How do you feel? Tired and my back really hurts. The contractions all last night. How much sleep did you get? Not very much sleep at all. Is that a pumpkin under your... It does look like it, doesn't it? It makes your head look small relative to the rest of your body. <laughs> oh. Look, can you see? Your butt? Yeah. Like, mm. it's pretty close. The side, I feel like we can get in and see your butt. Oh. But that dress does make your belly look big. <laughs> All right. I'll wear it, I guess. So is it go time or no? Or are you premature? I don't know. We're going to find out in an hour so we're gonna walk around for an hour and see if the baby falls out and if it doesn't then we might go home but if it does then i think we'll be here for two or three days yep. in this room which is nice executive wood <laughs> we have a eight and a half inch tv over there <laughs> hospital and it's almost go time and I've been sent to the car to get all our stuff so baby bug out bag is ready to go so we are in Midtown in a new room same hospital about to deliver a baby maybe we'll see you think they should have socks they do they have socks in the last room because your feet get cold on the floor mm -hmm. can you find them please I can Wait, they're blue if you're having a girl well, yeah, they only come in blue. Let's see these $85 hospital socks. No, no, aren't they fancy? We found in a drawer. They're made by Medicare. They're their fall line for 2017. MetaChoice. MetaChoice. Sorry, my bad. What did I say, Medicare? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you're old enough for Medicare. But look at these things. They are fancy. How you feeling? Ready to have a baby. That seems to be a common theme. Exploring our room, I found this very informative positions for laboring. Winona, if you want some of these snacks, please eat them. I don't want to take them home. Are you hurting, sweeties? Huh? Are you hurting? Yeah. So what? What my did they? My back. My lower back is killing me. What did they just do to you? They gave me an epidural, which is hurting right now. Will you go tell her? Ow. Did it hurt? Uh, well, no, just. I'll wait, I guess. I, mean, I think it's gonna hurt for a while till this stuff kicks in. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna go get some food. I love you. Love you too. So it's now 10 o'clock. Heather's got an epidural and they're gonna let her try and sleep for a couple hours before we go to push time. And I'm starving. We got here at one, haven't eaten anything since. So I'm gonna go get some food and hurry back. <music> So that was it, 5.48 a.m. After 30 minutes of pushing, we get little Harper Johnson, who's asleep. Pretty boring at the moment. Trying to get some skin on skin time. Yeah. So it's good for brain development, milk production, and uh, it reduces global warming. We just moved from labor and delivery room into our new 
mother baby room. So lots of moves today. Harper is doing well, she's awake. Heather is doing well, and she's also still awake. Surprisingly, she's been awake for a long time. We got some food on the way, so we're looking forward to uh, getting some rest. How are you feeling postpartum? Pretty good. Can't complain. I mean, it went as well as I think it could have gone. And now I can't quite walk yet, but I'm um, starting to get feeling back in my legs. So yeah, it's pretty good. And you look beautiful for just a given birth a short three hours ago. Yeah, well, I don't feel beautiful. <laughs> and Harper's doing pretty good. She's not crying at all, which is wonderful. She's just a chill baby. Couldn't ask for more. Hey, chill baby. So just finished popping some bottles. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Some family came by to check out little Harper. Here. <laughs> so what do you think? This is Grandma. Grandma Stacy. Oh I had to give it something in my mouth. Grandma Stacy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even Kyle. Grandma. Harper is adorable. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> and Heather looks wonderful. She hasn't even taken a shower yet. This is just natural glow. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. She's here. <laughs> I'm so tired. She's tired, yeah. <laughs> Look at this baby. She's being so quiet and so good. Look how good looking she is. Getting an assessment day two so we can go home soon. Getting some breakfast. So this is the jaundice test. Yes. And if it comes back 10 and under, we get to go home. Seven point three. So we get to go home. <laughs> so we have been cleared to go home, passed all the tests, flying colors, but now the NP who's supposed to sign off on us leaving got pulled into a delivery. So hope that lady pushes hard so we can get out of here soon. But I kicked Heather out of bed so I could take a nap. Um, I told her I was going to take the first shift on the first night of changing all the diapers and doing all the feeding, but. She's got plenty of baby time coming her way. Yep, I do. Right, see you Yay. at ballet. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank Walking out. Oh Lord. Walking out of the hospital, going to get a car. And most guys have a thing when they leave a room. It's like phone, wallet, keys. Now I gotta add baby to that mix. So as long as I got my phone, my wallet, keys, and now my baby.